Hi everyone, this is Professor M. Science, and this is an exercises video to learn about manipulating operators. This is another one of our videos in the series on rigorous quantum mechanics. So why do we care about operators? Operators allow us to describe physical quantities in quantum mechanics, and therefore in order to do quantum mechanics, we need to learn about operators. For example, if we want to learn about where a particle is, we need to use the position operator. Or if we want to learn about the energy of a particle, we need to use the energy operator. So what I want to do in this video is to practice manipulating operators, and we're going to do that by looking at the adjoint operator, which allows us to connect the state space with the dual space. If you want to learn more about state space and dual space, check the video in the description. Otherwise, let's go. In this video, I want to work with you, deriving a number of relations to do with the adjoint operator that will be good practice for manipulating operators in general. Let's start with a refresher of operators and their adjoints. An operator A is an object that acts on a ket psi and gives another ket psi prime. The corresponding expression in the dual space tells us that the adjoint operator A dagger is the one that acts on the corresponding bra psi and gives the corresponding bra psi prime. There is a video in the description where I introduce the idea of operators in quantum mechanics, so check it out if you haven't yet. The first thing we want to look at is how the matrix element of the adjoint operator is related to the matrix element of the original operator. All we need to prove this relation is to use conjugation of the scalar product. That means that the bracket between psi prime and phi is equal to the bracket between phi and psi prime star. With the definition of the primed heads and bras above, we can write psi prime as psi a dagger, and psi prime here as a psi. And that's it, we've arrived at the relation we wanted, psi a dagger phi is equal to phi a psi star. What I want to do in the rest of the video is to use first of all the relation between the state space and the dual space, and second, the relation between the matrix element of the adjoint operator and the original operator as shown here, to prove these four relations that we have down here. For the first one, we're going to use the matrix element in red, and the relation tells us that the adjoint of the adjoint of an operator is equal to the original operator. To prove that, we calculate the matrix element, psi a dagger dagger phi, we then use conjugation to get phi a dagger psi star, we then use conjugation again, and then taking the complex conjugate of a number twice gives us the original number, and now we can see that the a dagger dagger is equal to the a here, because psi and phi are arbitrary states. We're done, a dagger dagger is equal to a. To prove the next relation I'm still going to use the matrix elements between a dagger and a, and the relation tells us that a a dagger, where little a is a scalar, is equal to a star a dagger. Again, to prove it, we write psi a a dagger phi, we use conjugation to write it as phi a a psi star, we then take the a out, we then use conjugation again, and then we bring the scalar a star back in. Comparing the original expression in the matrix element with the final expression in the matrix element, we arrive at the solution, a a dagger is equal to a star a dagger. To prove the next relation, we're still going to use the matrix element between a dagger and a, and the relation is that a plus b dagger is equal to a dagger plus b dagger. We start in the same way, psi a plus b dagger phi, we then use conjugation, we then separate this expression into phi a psi star plus phi b psi star, we then use conjugation again, and then we bring them back together to write psi a dagger plus b dagger phi. Comparing the middle of the matrix element here to this one, we obtain the final expression, a plus b dagger is equal to a dagger plus b dagger. The final relation we want to prove will actually be proved by using the relationship between state space and dual space shown here, and the relation tells us that the adjoint of the product AB is equal to the product of the adjoint's B dagger, A dagger. In this case, we start by writing psi prime as equal to AB psi. Then remembering that the product of operators is defined by first acting on the state with B, then we call B psi chi, and then we can rewrite the whole thing as A chi. Now is the time to use the relation between state space and dual space, so we write the bra psi prime, and we first use the relation AB psi to write it as psi AB dagger by the definition of the adjoint. Next we write again the bra psi prime, but now we use the relation here to write it down as the bra chi A dagger. 
now we remember that chi was defined as b psi, so we can rewrite the bra chi as psi b dagger, and then we have an extra a dagger. Rearranging this final expression, we obtain the bra psi and then b dagger a dagger. Comparing the two final expressions for the bra psi prime, we see that a b dagger is indeed equal to b dagger a dagger. So that's it. We set out to investigate the properties of an operator A and its adjoint A dagger, and we have shown that this list of properties holds for these operators, and in particular one to remark is the fact that the adjoint of a product of operators reverses the order of those operators. In this video we have worked through some mathematical properties of the adjoint operator in order to become familiar with manipulating operators. What next? Check out the videos in the description to see what you can do now that you can manipulate operators. As a hint, you can learn about the time evolution of quantum systems by learning about how the energy operator features in the Schrodinger equation. If you liked the video, or if you would like to send me suggestions for future videos, please subscribe.